Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. We have the Amazon Fire Stick 4K TV Max. Yeah, I actually caught this on a really good deal um, from Best Buy today. Uh, it's like 35 bucks. Um, it was on sale, it was normally $55, but it's Black Friday. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up out the box. As you can see, Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Um, our most powerful 4K streaming stick plus next gen Wi-Fi 6. Uh, so yeah, um, I do not have Wi-Fi 6. Um, this does come with 4K HDR. Um, and as you can see on the side right here, pressing X, the A word. I have a bunch of these devices in the house. So I'm not going to say it. Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax. Um, this is something new if you want uh, the fastest pretty much Wi-Fi that you can get in home. Um, I have gigabit ethernet, but my router um, is the the, the normal at t router that comes with the service. And it does not have Wi-Fi 6, but I plan on upgrading my, uh, my routing system. So definitely going to look forward to that, but it's not needed to get the, you know, to get all the features out of this uh, stick. Uh, we have 4K Ultra HD, HDR high dynamic range, Dolby Vision and Atmos support, and it's a quad core CPU, and I get into some of the actual specs a little bit later. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I currently have a Amazon Fire TV. Um, it's the square-like um, unit, and I actually show it to you later on in the video. Um, but that's what I currently use. But um, because I've been doing a little bit more when it comes to content uh, streaming and stuff like that, I actually need a, another Fire Stick um, in the house. Um, and so I'm going to like the the Fire. I have the Fire TV third generation. Um, and so that's going to move back into my bedroom. <laughs> um, in in my gaming slash movie area right now, um, you know, I had took the fire TV out of the bedroom, put it in here, but I've been meaning to get another one. And today is Black Friday. I picked this up from Best Buy. Um, you can also purchase this obviously from Amazon.com. Currently, right now, it's thirty-five bucks. I don't know if that's going. That price is going to stick as far as being. A Black Friday deal because it's normally 55 bucks. Um, but right now at Best Buy, uh, as of this recording today, <laughs> it's uh, 35 bucks at Best Buy and a few other places also online, Amazon.com. So if you decide to that you want to pick up one of these after watching the video today, um, you could definitely hit uh, the link in the description below. Um, it's affiliate link that helps out the channel. No additional cost to you by clicking and purchasing from that link, but it does help the channel. Um, so I would definitely appreciate it. So it looks like, I think I took everything out of the box. So we have your booklet that's here. You have the HDMI dongle. Um, I've read that you actually need to use it with the actual fire stick itself. And here's the fire stick. Let's take it out of the plastic. They say it's better to use it uh, for better connectivity with the remote. And as you can see, it's a big difference. You got Prime, uh, Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, pretty much look like they're just paying for advertisement. Uh, you got your volume up, down, um, the mute button. I think this may be like an Amazon button. We'll figure that out. Rewind, fast forward, return home. Damn burger sandwich, pause, play. You got your directional pad. Then you have your A word button, you know, for the voice control and stuff like that. And then a power button, uh, which is, you know, I have never seen them put a power button on you. So this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, we have, but going back to this, they said that actually using a dongle uh, with this helps out with the actual wireless connection for your internet and also for using a remote, you get a better uh, reception. So uh, this pretty much kind of plugs into this and then you plug this in into the back of the TV. Um, you have your USB cable, you got your USB cable. Looks like this. These are usually like three meters. Um, and that's what it looks like it is. Uh, one end is USB A, the other end is micro USB. The micro USB actually plugs into the side here for power. 
Uh, just like that. Um, the other end plugs in now. Um, depending on your actual TV, they say that you can plug this um, into the back of your TV instead of having to use the actual power brick. Um, and it should work just fine uh, for power. Um, but when it comes to like updates and stuff like that, um, I've also heard that, you know, you could run into issues with it not supplying enough power and you run into this error. So um, I always use the power brick. Um, give it the power that it needs to be able to do what it needs to do. Okay. So I'll tell you what, before I plug this up, uh, we're just going to take a look at the current interface. Um, we got your batteries for the remote. But we're going to take a look at the current interface that we have, Amazon Fire um, TV, um, just to see, you know, what that looks like, you know, how it navigates and all that good stuff. I haven't had any issues out of it. Like I said, I'm not replacing um, what I currently have, but I'm just adding on an additional um, Fire TV. So let's take a look. Okay. So this is the, as you can see, this is the old remote. And now we have the actual the current interface that I'm using. So as we kind of go through all of these, um, this has worked great. I haven't had any issues. When it comes to Amazon, they have, this is actually a really good show. Uh, it's on the fourth episode now. I watched episodes one through three on the Wheel of Time, but it's definitely, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, but with this, um, you also have, uh, this is original content. Um, and I hope it doesn't start playing anything. Okay, great. So let me go back. Um, I actually wanted to just show you this. Uh, I was actually just watching episode four. Now, my current Fire TV, it's the Fire TV. It's the third generation. Um, so if I go back here, recently watch. So um, I could do 4K HDR and all that good stuff. Um, some of the things that I know that's different between these two, um, and I'll actually probably end up putting something up on the screen so you can see the difference. But um, the new Fire Stick comes with the actual um, AV1 codec, uh, which is in competition with the H.265, um, especially when it comes to like... Uh, uh, I think YouTube is a big supporter of the new AV1. The AV1 codec is actually free. H.265, H.264. Um, you know, you have to pay that licensing fee. And so, but this is the only actual fire stick that supports that. So I think that's going to be pretty big going down the road um, about what supported, you know, the different uh, streaming uh, apps and all that different type of stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, but this does, you know, pretty much everything that my current one does. But, you know, outside of the Wi-Fi 6, um, there was another thing that's that's actually that's included with this is this actually supports all the different versions of HDR. So that includes um, I think it's on the back here. Yeah. So it includes W Vision, HDR 10, HDR 10 plus. Um, and what's the other one? It's Adobe Vision versus yeah versus HDR10. So yeah, it it includes all of that and Adobe uh, and it includes Adobe Atmos. So if you have the right hardware, you could be able to take advantage of it. But yeah, this is uh this is definitely pretty cool. But um, if I go into some of the actual settings um, that we see here, I think my current one here it comes with eight gigabytes worth of internal storage, two gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a quad core processor and all that stuff is the same one that's here, except that um, this one is actually a little bit faster. And I, like I said, I put some of the specs up on the screen, but this comes with like a 750 megahertz GPU. Um, and I think this comes with 1.8 gigahertz on the quad core. The Fire TV third generation it's 1.5 gigahertz quad core. Uh, so I'm definitely expecting for this to be faster um, than my current, uh, you know, Fire TV. So, but if I go here and if I go to the, uh, if I go to my Fire TV, go to about, you see, I'm gonna block out some of my, you know, information, but, 
Um, if you look at device type, it says Fire TV third gen. Um, storage capacity, and that says uh, five gigabytes, but I thought this came with eight gigabytes of internal storage. If not, this one does. I thought it came with eight gigabytes worth of internal storage, but it's only showing five gigabytes. I do know that this comes with eight gigabytes. So, um, yeah, you also see the software version on here says Fire OS 6.2. Um, the new Fire Stick actually comes with uh, Fire OS 7, which is Android 9. And I think this is like Android 6 or 7. Um, I think that only means something when it comes to like the certain type of apps or games that you can be able to put on here. Um, but yeah, uh, storage. Yeah, so this only comes with five gigabytes of storage. The new one comes with eight. Let me go ahead and get this hooked up. And then we can actually take a look at getting the actual new Fire Stick set up. All right, yeah, I just want to show y'all what the actual Fire TV third generation look like. This is the one that I took out of my uh, gaming entertainment area. I'm going to put this back in my bedroom. But I just want to show y'all what they look like. It's basically, it's like a whole unit with the dongle on the end. <laughs> um, and then, you know, with the with the power cord. So putting this back in my bedroom. So, yep, just want to show that to you. Okay, so I finally got it plugged in. Um, I actually plugged this into HDMI 1. Um, and if you don't know, the TV that I have is the LG CX uh, 65 inch version. The absolute best TV I ever purchased. If you want to see a review on this TV, um, I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, but we're going to go to HDMI 1. All right, so right now it says that um, it's searching for my remote. So let me take the remote out the plastic. Then I'm going to put the actual included batteries in. I always had a hard time with remotes. Okay, so that slides out like that. Put the batteries in. I know it seems like we're in elementary school, but that's how they go in. <laughs> All right, so this actually slides back on. And you're seeing, so it looks like I need it to press the play pause button. Boom, there it is. All right, so English scanning for networks. All right, so I'm actually going to connect to my network um, and then we'll come back. All right, so it's downloading the latest software right now, Fire Stick 4K Max. Okay, so it's powering off and I'm assuming it's gonna power back on. Adobe Vision. All right, so installing the latest software. Do not unplug the power cable during the update. When they say not to do that, make sure that you don't do that. <laughs> okay, so the actual uh, update, just install uh, Fire TV is restarted. All right, so scanning for the networks, trying to connect back to the wireless network. I already set that up. And it says downloading the latest software again. Not sure. Okay, it's finishing updates. All right, so here we go. Now, once that's to actually sign into an account, so I have an account, and it says that I can actually go on my phone. Um, and set this up. So <laughs> I'm actually using my iPhone to record. So one moment and we'll be right back. Okay. So once you got everything signed in, it'll, you know, once you log in to go through the little security steps and it says this Amazon Fire TV stick 4K Max will be registered to your account. And I hit continue. Now it says it looks like you're an existing Fire TV customer. Would you like to restore your Fire TV with your current apps, privacy settings, and parental controls. And I am going to say restore. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to go through the trouble of trying to reinstall anything. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they make this, it's almost kind of like, uh, you know, swapping iPhones, right? You know, uh, pretty much restores everything, you know, to keep it moving forward. So it makes the process easy. Your Fire TV remote pointing at your TV, toggle the volume up and volume down buttons. And so, yep, did the music volume change and come out of the expect audio device? No, but it may be because I have my soundbar hooked up. Yep, see, look, I use the soundbar. <laughs> I use the soundbar. It's actually Samsung. Okay, so it's attempt two of 13. Oh, that worked. So now it's working. You see my volume up and down going. So great. 
So this can control the volume of my soundbar. I have my soundbar hooked up through uh, eARC to the TV. Netflix is ready to launch. So I just download it. Let me go to Netflix. And I can open it. All right, so I am signed into Netflix. And they have different, obviously, they have a lot of stuff that's in Ultra HD 4K. And as you can see, it has Dolby Vision and Atmos. In top right-hand corner, the TV switched over to Dolby Vision. That's what it's using for HDR. And uh, yeah, this is pretty dope. And so, yep. Um, let's go back here. Now you're probably asking, I have a smart TV with a bunch of apps and everything on it. Like if I hit the house button on my TV remote, you know, it has everything down here. Um, and you're probably asking, well, why am I using a fire stick? One reason and one reason only to be able to side load applications. <laughs> For those who do not know, the fire stick is just like uh, it's Android. It's open source. You could be able to put your own applications and stuff that's on there. You can download apps and install apps. And that's the reason why I'm using this because um, I sideload a lot of apps. Um, you know, so if you really, 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 really give this video a lot of attention and a lot of likes, um, I may go through the process of how you could be able to sideload applications, stuff like that. It's totally legit, totally free. Um, but definitely let me know down in the comments below if you want to see something like that um, and give this video some love. Um, but uh, yeah, so the remote is set up. If I wanted to, I could be able to hit the Netflix button here and it's automatically going to take it to Netflix. If I want to go to C Prime Video, it's going to pull up the actual, you know, the Amazon Prime Video stuff directly take me there. Uh, if I wanted to, I can install Disney Plus. I hit the Disney Plus button. I'm not for sure if it's installed, um, but it's popping up Disney Plus. And so, yeah, I need to log in and all that good stuff. But this is dope. Um, we hit the home button here. Uh, let's see. If I go to the settings here, go down to my Fire TV. It's going to give some information. Let's go to about. Um, so it says it comes with eight gigabytes of storage, but it says only five gigabytes is available. So I guess that's a new thing. You see software versions, fire OS seven. Um, and yeah, so now here's something, um, this also has the option to hooking up external, um, storage, uh, which is pretty cool. Like actually hook it, you have to get like a little adapter, um, that you can actually be able to plug up. Um, USB storage and also to be able to charge it at the same time. So uh, that's to add add on more apps and stuff like that. Not for sure that's something I want to do in the future, but you can play video games and stuff on here. Depending on how many apps I want to be able to add on and stuff like that, you could be able to do that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty dope, but um, it's definitely fluid. Um, this is fluid. Um, like I said, I don't know if I notice a big difference between this and my current one, because like if I'm scrolling through, and it seems like it scrolls through a lot quicker. It's much more fluid. It could just be my eyes. But if I change this back to HDMI 3, which I have my other Fire Stick hooked up to, and I take the old remote. See, it's going through, but it's not as smooth. It seems like it stutters a little bit. But it's still, I mean, it's still good. Again, I wasn't using it to replace it, but... Um, seems like it's a little faster. So I switched back to HDMI one. It just seems like it's smoother. I don't know about you, but to me, it's definitely smoother. Um, yeah, this comes with all the bells and whistles. So that was my unboxing and setup. Um, you know, obviously if you want to install more apps, um, you could definitely be able to go to the app store. And you can install to your heart's content. Uh, they have all type of stuff on here. Something I just started messing with today was uh, Tubi. Uh, free movies and TV. Uh, very similar to Netflix, but it just has ads. And so you could watch a bunch. Now, what I did not see inside here was 4K stuff, but it's free. So, you know, you got to take 
you, it gives with stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you can you can install all type of apps, whatever it is that you want. I wanted to just finish YouTube. Uh, wanted to definitely. Oh yeah, it did. Let me open that up real quick. But one thing I can say, this is definitely moving since like it's moving a lot quicker. Um, but I could log into my YouTube account. Okay, so I am in my YouTube. It's a start streaming, then it updates. As you can see, we are definitely getting the full thing. If I go here, it says 2160 HDR. I can also go up here and I can just force it if I wanted to. It's 4K60. And I can confirm down in the bottom left-hand corner that that's what it's showing as well. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. So this is the YouTube app on the actual Fire Stick 4K Max. So we we'll go back to home. And so yeah, you can continue setting this up however you want to install the apps, stuff that you want. Um, I think I showed this, but if you click on Prime Video, this should just give me all of the actual, um, I know earlier, I was watching this, which is also um, in UHD, which is 4K, uh, Ultra HD, and it looks phenomenal. It's also in Dolby Vision. And so, yeah, down at the bottom, Ultra HD, HDR. Uh, pull that back up. Yeah. And so, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below if you want to grab one of these. Like I said, I grabbed this for like 35 bucks. 35 bucks uh, from, you can get this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the, the description below. Um, it helps out the channel when you purchase uh, from those links. Um, and also, you, you know, if you, you know, if you don't want to purchase offline and you want to just go in the storage, you could grab it. I bought this out of Best Buy, just FYI. But uh, while I was out and about for Black Friday today, but yeah, you can do either or. But if you want to help out the channel, definitely hit the link in the description below. Um, and yeah, I'm going to, you know, work on some more stuff, finish setting up some more stuff with this, but I like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I like having, I, I own previous fire sticks before and they were slow, which is why I ended up purchasing the, the other one that I have, which is the fire TV third generation, which is like three years old. Um, and so I'm, I'm glad to have some newer tech when it comes to this, but Hey, um, I appreciate you for watching the video all the way through. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you receive all my notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.